Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007, and today we're looking at the Quick Shop plugin. And as the name would suggest, it allows you to buy and sell things via shops. And you can see it in front of me. There is a sign on the chest and then an item floating above it. So here we can, in fact, buy emeralds. And the 1632 number means that is the space in the chest. So if we left click it, we can sell 12 emeralds to the chest. And if we look inside, another stack as well. So if we click it again, we can sell the rest, so 52 and get 2600. And as you can see in chat, it looks very nice. It shows you all the information, the owner, the item space, the price, and whether it's a buy or sell shop. So next we are going to right click it and that shows you information that you can change about the shop. Uh, so there's a lot here, but we are going to have a look at that a bit later before going on to the next shop. So this is a sell shop. So if we left click this, we can actually buy diamonds from it. Um, so as you can see, it's, there's 52 there and we could buy uh, up to 52 before it runs out. So if we right click this one again, uh, you can see all of the information you can change. Similarly, this is another sell shop. We could buy um, as many planks as we want until it runs out for $5 each. And then finally, we have an admin shop. So this is one that is unlimited. I could buy a million golden swords for $25 each. And as I am an admin, I can change all of this. So those are a few examples of shops. We are going to create one of our own. So if you put a chest down, there we go. And we need an item. So let's go ahead and use TNT because that's a fun item. Left click it and then we type in chat how much we want to sell it for. So $1,234 per TNT block. Then if we do forward slash QS or forward slash shop that will bring up all the different commands and we can do forward slash shop buy to switch it to a buy shop or forward slash shop sell to switch it to a sell shop. Very straightforward. And obviously we need to put items in the chest to be able to sell them to other people. There we go. So then if we do forward slash shop buy uh, we can now uh, sell items into the chest. So we just made $39,000 by selling all of those TNT. So if we right click it, we can change various things about it. So obviously I'm not going to change the ownership, but we could make it unlimited if we wanted, so it will never run out of TNT, which is pretty awesome. Uh, we could change the shop mode again uh, to buy, sell, buy, whatever we want. We could change the price if we weren't happy with it. We could refill the shop or we could completely empty the shop as well. Um, so you can do all of these via command as well, but it's much easier just clicking in chat, um, as you can see. So there's a few other commands. So you can do forward slash shop clean. If you want to, you can do forward slash shop find. Now this is a really useful command as it allows you to find the nearest shop with diamonds. So if you're in a busy city with loads of different people living there, you can point to the shop that you want to and that will take you to it. So it tells me that they're both three blocks away, uh, which is really awesome. And if we wanted to, we could do four slash shop price and change it to a billion, trillion, whatever. So I much prefer doing it in chat uh, rather than typing out all the long commands, but um, it doesn't really matter and you can even change the owner. So that is the sort of thing you can do in game. Um, as you can see, it's a really awesome clean plugin, looks fantastic, very easy to use, um, and I'm sure each player will love using it as they can make money from items they have. So that is pretty much everything in-game. Obviously you can make a massive shop and sell anything you want, but we are going to head into the config file and have a look what's in there. Here we are in the SM Picnic control panel, and if we go into the quick shop folder, we will see all of these files. If we go into the messages.iml, you will see all of the different messages that will pop up in chat and down at the bottom how the signs will look. You could change any of this, but you really don't have to as it already looks pretty nice. So if we go back and go into the config.iml, this is the main file. This is where uh, you can change a lot of things. So the tax feature, this is pretty awesome. So as you know, in real life, you get tax for buying things, you get tax for being paid, etc. Um, but you can have this feature in your server, so when people buy something, they will get taxed the amount that you set. So you set this as a percentage, and obviously you times that by the amount you sell, and that is how much you lose um, or gain if you're the tax man. 
so you can change this whether you want it to show in the price um, of the shop or be added on top and it shows you up here how it works so if the item costs $50 you times it by 0.95 and that is the price that the seller will get so you can have whole numbers or not depending on your currency plugin that you use and you can also set up a MySQL database to save all the information if you want to as well and then the limit, so how many shops can each person um, set? So the fault is 10, but if you are maybe an admin or a VIP, you could set 20, 25, you can just change it to whatever you want, um, which is really awesome. The shop blocks are currently chest and trap chest, although you could change it to maybe an ender chest as well, or if any other chests are added to Minecraft in the future. Then how much does it cost to make a shop? and do you get a refund when you when you destroy it. Then you have various things like fees as well and whether it's locked, so this is important so people cannot steal from it. Do you need to sneak in order to create trading control and whether a sign is automatically put on there. Then there's a few items like bypassing, um, owner's check, displaying items and the find distance which um, I showed you that was a very cool feature. Blacklist items, obviously bedrock needs to be there, but you could add TNT and other stuff. And then down here, there's a few other things about other plugins such as Locket. But overall, it's a really fantastic plugin. Uh, the rest of the files just list uh, various items and enchantments or log um, all of the transactions. But overall, this is definitely a plugin you want on your server. It's obviously free to download. It's been recently updated to the latest version of Minecraft. Uh, if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.